Hello, today I'll be showing you how to download and install Kali, which is Kali Linux, this is. Kali, so just type it into Google, Linux. So this is what's superseded Backtrack. As you can see, Backtrack, blah, blah, blah. But we'll go to Kali.org. So Kali is a penetration testing Linux. So now this is the website and you've got your downloads documentation community. I'm going to click on downloads. And you can register for the, um, what do you call it, the uh, newsletter. Or oh, I just want to download. So now, these are your different architectures. So if you want to put it on an ARM like a Raspberry Pi, You'd pick one of them. I'm not sure which one would go for what, but yeah, I haven't got anything that's ARM. I just want i386, which is x86 architecture. And that AMD64 is just if you got 64-bit, so that's 32-bit, 64-bit. And these two are different sort of ARM processors. You want the official image. I'm using GNOME. I want to ISO. And I'm going to download it using a torrent. So now I'll just download. Your download has started. You wait. Download it there. Click OK. And there it is. Kali Linux. What I'm going to give it though is high bandwidth because I want it to download quickly. Basically. But yeah, still, it's going to, I don't know if there's going to be many seeds. It hasn't been out for that long. But I will tell you, and if that doesn't work, I might try downloading it direct as well. That's not looking right there. Peers. Right, here we go. A few are coming. Yeah, so you just got to make sure you have a torrent client. I'm using uTorrent at the moment to do it. And, um... Yeah, it looks like it's starting to get a few. And yeah, it'll pick up speed. Yep, as it will. Okay, I will come back once it is downloaded. Alright, see you guys. So as you can see, Carly is finished downloading. And if you right click on it and go open containing folder, you have the ISO. So I can either burn this to a CD, use it to... um make a bootable, what do you call it, um, USB drive, which I might show you how to do in another episode. And, um, but today I am going to use it to make a VMware virtual computer. So all I'm going to do is create a new virtual machine for this using that installer disk. So if I go downloads, Kali, Kali ISO, it's Linux, it's a Debian, I believe, and I'm just going to call it Kali. 20 gig should be plenty, I'm going to give it 2 gig of RAM, just because I've got plenty to spare. And also, it's going to have bridged connection. So that means it's going to connect directly to the router like a normal computer would. It's going to obtain an IP address and all of that kind of garbage. So here we go. Kali Linux. I'm going to select graphical install. You can also use it as a live CD just by clicking live. English, continue, um, in Australia, continue, I like British English better, continue, so it's all pretty simple, just follow the prompts, and no worries.
So now you just need to set the host name for this system. Now, I do not like using names like Jaken or Bob's Hack Machine because these are identifiable. You do not want to be identifiable when penetration testing. You just want to give it a name like anything. It could be that, but I like ones that are easy to type in. So we just go easy type. And people will just think what's easy type. You can also be really tricky and go network storage. Let's not put a space in there either because it's Linux and sometimes Linux doesn't like that. Let's go network underscore storage. Oh, go back. We can't have an underscore. Um, just call it NAS then. We don't have a domain that we're configuring to. Root password. Put in your root password. Continue. We're in Victoria. Well, I'm in Victoria. You'd pick whichever one you're in. Now, let's use entire disk. Yep, that's the disk. All files in one petition, easy. As you can see, it's put its swap file there. And its primary partition there, which is ext4, which is a Linux file system. We want to write the changes to the disk. So then it'll just format the disk and install the system. Quite simple. This may take some time, especially on older systems. So I'll be back when it's finished. So now it's come up asking if I want to install the Grub bootloader on the hard disk, which we do because otherwise it's not going to boot to this operating system because that's just basically the thing that tells it what to do when it turns on. Like so it loads the boot process of your Linux installation. Installation complete, continue. So there you're just going to need to type in your root password and user as root, which is the default user. So here you go, this is Kali Linux. So under here you have your normal things that are, you know, your terminal, your root terminal, or just the normal stuff that's in Linux. I don't know exactly what that is. But your internet, so yep, it comes with this web browser, Iceweasel. That's your browser inbuilt. So here are the security tools under Kali Linux. As you can see, there's lots here. 
I'll go into them in another video. It's just basically it. Office. So as you can see, it's connected. Um, should also have internet messaging, desktop sharing. Yeah, here we go. Places, network, connect to a server. It's just your normal, average stuff. Alright, thank you. See you later.